women. How's it going, everybody? I got the list of the greatest street food from around the world. I hope you are not hungry entering this video. Otherwise, you are about to leave mouth watering. And we are going to see which country has the absolute best street food. Let's start our adventure off in Japan. It's Ramadan. I'm fasting. And to you, I say, shit. Ramadan... Ramadan Malik, Mal Malik. No, is that it? Mubarak. Chat, who here has had octopus before? I do love calamari. I don't like takoyaki that much. By the way, the technique on this guy is... Yeah, he's nuts. Did he just transfer? Oh, shit. Look at the swap. I like how perfect the balls are. It's crazy that it went from just a flood of white to just beautiful balls. That is... Okay, we'll ignore that sentence. Anyway, takoyaki, gas. Okay, this one is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I watched a bit of this. Look at this street food. Look at this. Look, first of all, look at this pizza guy. How is the dough not ripping? I understand there is a lot of technique, and this guy is a tried and true pizza, uh, um, you know, veteran. But how? He throws it so high, and it's so thin. I worked with, at a pizza shop for a while. I made the sandwiches there. Every time I had a chance, I would try to make a pizza. I would beg and whine and kvetch until they let me. And every time I'd fuck it up. <laughs> it was just too hard. It was genuinely too hard to not get the dough to tear. What a big ass pizza. How do you deflate it, you know? Do you poke a hole in the top? Oh. <laughs> oh, you just... <laughs> You just lift it. Okay, right. Yeah, no, for sure. This part's gonna be so hard. Spreading sauce that big? That's so hard. He's not doing terrible, but I wouldn't say this is the greatest sauce spread of all time. Okay. Okay, I was gonna say not enough cheese, but he kind of got there. What are you doing? Is it butter? Egg. Mmm. Ah, that's fine then. Egg on pizza's not that weird. Mushrooms on pizza are, are good. You're being a baby if you say no to mushrooms. All the toppings in here are good. It could have used more meat, but it was half meat, half not. Dude, that just looks so good. I'm getting so hungry, boys. That looks so good. The Italians wish. That looked fucking amazing. All right, let's go to India. What are we watching? Pineapple? Juice? Okay, big wheel. Wheel is cold. And just slap a banana on it? Dude, that's not ice cream. That, that's just cold banana. You need cream. I will tell you, this guy has a way better job than the guy who spins the wheel. It's filled with ice inside. I feel like this is set up to be more of a sorbet than ice cream. There's so much fruit involved. And so little green. Yeah, it is kind of like a like a fruity shaved ice. I mean, it sounds incredibly refreshing on like a hot day. And it sounds more light than an ice cream. All in all, it looks pretty good, yeah. Let's journey over to the Philippines. This is called Balut. What is Balut? Why are you guys saying no? It's like a soft boiled egg. Oh my god! The thing is, like, I'm trying to... Okay, let's reset mentally from that. First of all, that was a live duck that was boiled in its egg and then being eaten. Which, okay, let's, let's analyze. Let's analyze myself. Am I drawing the line of what I think is okay to consume right below what I currently consume? Because I'm French and I have enjoyed foie gras before where you specifically fatten up a duck so much until it's unable to move and then you harvest his liver, which is very inhumane. You know, I've eaten that, so who am I to say? The eggs that we eat day to day are chickens that live and die in like a one foot by one foot radius oftentimes. So, okay, let's, uh, no, I can't, nope, I'm sorry, I just can't. I just can't look at it. Oh, no. Oh, come on. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can appreciate the culture. I cannot 
for for the love of me, look at it. Let's go to China. That's a good call. Go somewhere safer like China. Come on, they're just eating shrimp. Shrimp cake. I don't know. This looks good. Are they alive? Oh no! 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 Not the sea cockroach! Alright, that actually looks fire. I would try it. This is Mexican street food? Corn? Isn't the more important part of the business? I'll just I'm just gonna watch. You know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna sit my white ass down and listen. <laughs> what are what are they put in there? That's just corn with a shit ton of butter. What was that though? What was the cheese? Fair enough. I love cheese. It's mayo, not butter. So corn, mayo, then cheese, then whatever this is, probably just pepper, and then some lime juice. I mean, this seems amazing, honestly. Um, this is this is the food. So far, this has made me the most hungry. It's like a chili powder. This looks insane. I, I can't watch Mexican street food anymore. I genuinely can't watch this. Oh, this is gonna be fucking harder. Churros in Cuba. The only time I've ever really had churros is in Disneyland, but it is just amazing. It's just fried bread topped with delicious, or fried dough, I should say, topped with delis delicious sweet sugar cinnamon treats in condensed. This isn't as popular in the States, but I don't get why, because it is amazing. Condensed milk is so good. Everything's nice about it. The consistency, creaminess, how it just sits upon like a beautifully warm, fried, doughy good. And it just kind of oozes over like a Pillsbury Doughboy commercial dreams of. And it's just so, so sweet. Oh, God. I can't watch this one. <laughs> Italian pizza. I'm going to come out with a scalding hot take right now. I do not think the Italians are that much better, if better at all, at making pizza. I think the rest of the world has caught up in the pizza making industry, and the Italians have not invented many new things. They invented a pizza cone type dish, but I think it's kind of mid. I tried it when I was in Rome. They have higher consistency, I'll tell you that much. Because I thought, here's, I believed truly that if I went to Italy and had pizza there, it would be a, like an orgasmic experience. And I've been to Italy twice now. The first time I went, the restaurant I went to didn't even serve pizza. I cried. I was 12 years old. The second time was the most recent trip with the Yard Boys. I got pizza like three, four times. And it was good. But at no point was I like, you know, I didn't have the pizza in front of me. And then take one singular bite from the most fantastic pizza and have like an orgasmic explosion. Oh, benissimo. Oh, they've done it again. Oh. I got the pizza and I dead ass thought to myself like, there's a spot in LA that's as good. All right, let's go to Thailand. What are we looking at here, chat? Is this octopus? Or squid or something? This looks like calamari. It's onions. I don't think those are onions, my man. This food looks amazing. They could make a game out of this food. <laughs> squid game, get it? No, not calamari game. It's squid. This is a, this is a, I, I, this has topped the Mexican street food. I think this looks better. We're here in Hong Kong eating chicken, duck, and pork. Why is the chicken yellow? That's the duck. That duck looks amazing. Dude, that duck looks awesome. Oh, okay, I don't... <laughs> Why you just get rid of the heads? I... <laughs> it's a feels good if the heads aren't there. Yeah, I think, I think a goaded food is just duck meat over a bed of rice with sauce on top. It's simple, it's just good. Let's go to, let's go to Peru. Ceviche is like a citrusy salad thing, right? With like fish. That looks good. I mean, some salt, sure. Okay. Goes back for seconds. How many limes are we thinking? One? 
I think four <laughs> limes is good, right? Three. Four. Okay, <laughs> okay, five. Six. All right, <laughs> chill on the limes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right, it's enough lime! Eight whole limes? Please! The acid cooks it? That's something my mom would say, and I just don't believe that. I don't believe that's how food works. You're telling me that's cooked now? Look at the fucking food. That's not cooked. I could imagine it removes the bacteria. It's a lot of onion. Not a lot of smooches down in Peru, I'm guessing. It's a strong <laughs> aphrodisiac. Is that right? So I guess they do have some smooches down in Peru. All you need is eight limes and about a whole onion. It seems incredibly, like, like fresh and delightful. This is Malaysian food. I don't even know what I'm looking at. It looks like egg, green onions, some sort of meat. Uh, there hasn't been enough love for noodles today. Oh. Oh, is that bok choy? Oh. All right, let's get a move on. We got a few more to go through. This one's from Copenhagen. This is called S'mores Broad. S'more Broad. I assume how they say it over there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that bread looks like shit. <laughs> it looks like the densest, driest, most bitter. It looks terrible. And the seeds aren't selling me. Now I'm out. No, you can't just take a, a, a bad-looking piece of bread and throw a couple fish on it, call it a day. I, I'm sorry. I'm out on that one. What do you mean? Oh, you know what I was thinking? <laughs> this bread would be saved with a little more seafood. <laughs> it, like, if we had a little bit more than maybe we're talking. Wait, so you're not cooking it? It just goes like that? I'm going to keep it a stack. I know this isn't street food and everything else we've done is street food. This is like fancy restaurant food. This looks worse than every single other street food we've seen. Catch me with three balut in my mouth before I'm eating this guy. I'm not paying 85 euro for what is basically fancy fish on rye bread with 8,000 pounds of dill. All right, final plating. Wow. All right, next. This looks insane, by the way. Holy shit. This looks like the greatest lobster I've ever seen in my life. That looks amazing. I feel like in America we got lazy with lobster. Because we figured out that lobster and butter are good together. And now restaurants are so cocky about it that they give you the lobster and the tools to break it apart and some butter. And they say, I mean, fucking good luck. Have fun. I like lobster. I'm sick of getting charged 40 bucks to cook my own food for me. I don't know how to tear down a lobster. They give me something to crack a walnut. I'm using both hands to squeeze because I'm weak too. If they served it like this, game over. The final street food video, North Korea. I wouldn't count this as street food if it's prepackaged. Oh, there we go. What is this? Omelette? Crepes? They got crepes in North Korea? Well, goddamn. <laughs> they got crepes? Yeah, maybe they aren't so bad. Maybe, maybe, maybe North Korea no. is chill. Come tell me that. Uh, that looks awesome. I'll say it. I can't tell if I'm watching North Korean propaganda or this is just an average video. You know what I mean? All right, boys. That's about it. I got to head out.